and welcome back. In one of my previous videos, I have showed you how to prepare such dashboard for your project. This dashboard is created using the information in the project details sheet. We have the activity names, the start and end dates, the status of each activity, the criticality level of each activity, and the percentage completed. The video for creating this dashboard is available in the Microsoft Excel playlist of this YouTube channel. In addition, I will leave the link to this video in the description below. So if you are interested in how to prepare the Gantt chart and the donut charts in here, you can watch that video. I have described the step-by-step -step method in that video. In our today's video, we will focus on creating a list of activities. So if you are going to report the list of the delayed activities or maybe the completed activities, you can use this method for that. In the previous video, we used filters. In this video, I have used the slicers in Microsoft Excel in order to filter out the types of activities which we need to represent in our project dashboard. For example, I want to see only the delayed activities for this project. I'll click the delayed here and the activities which are delayed will be displayed. You can print this dashboard out for your weekly or maybe monthly report. Or maybe I want to see the activities which are in progress and started as planned. The activities will be shown in here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create slicers for your activities and put the activities in your project dashboard. The first thing that we need to do in order to create a slicer or a pivot table is to convert our data into a table. Select your table and then press Ctrl plus T. If this is unchecked and your table has headers, make sure to check it. Then click OK. So the table will be created. Once we have the table, the next thing that we are going to do is go to Insert and from here we will insert a pivot table. You can insert your pivot table in a new worksheet or maybe in an existing worksheet. We will create it in a new worksheet and click OK. In here, we will select only the task name. Since we only want to see the delayed or maybe completed or maybe the in progress tasks, that's why we only need the task names in here. Once you click the table, the pivot table tools will appear in here. Click that and from here we will insert slicer. We will insert slicers for the status and criticality. Two slicers will be generated. Slicer number one and slicer number two. So if we click only completed in here, the tasks which are completed will be shown in here. If we go to our project details, as you can see, two tasks are completed. One is the concept design, another is the concept design review and approval. In here, as you can see, these two tasks are shown as completed. Or maybe you want to see only the in progress tasks. The tasks which are not completed yet are shown in here. Besides that, you can use the other slicer for filtering the delayed, started as planned and started early activities. So if you click delayed here, the activities which are delayed will be shown in here. If you want to copy this table to your dashboard, what you have to do is to select the table, right click and copy it and paste it wherever you want it. You can also copy the slicers and use it in your project dashboard. I hope you liked the content of the video. If you did so, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Besides that, consider visiting your Instagram and LinkedIn pages. We post informative content on those pages as well. Thank you very much for watching.